Look here everyone, I'm running macOS High Sierra version 10.13.6 on a virtual machine inside my Windows 11 PC. I can browse the internet, install apps from the Apple Store, check my email and do everything else. Welcome back everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to install macOS High Sierra on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC using a virtual box. Let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you have at least 80GB of free space for the Mac OS installation. You need to disable the Windows Memory Integrity during installation and disable Windows Hyper-V. And make sure virtualization is enabled. To disable Windows Memory Integrity, click on the Windows Search icon in the taskbar and let's type Core. Select Core Isolation from the suggestions Then toggle the switch to turn it off. Now you can turn it back on once the installation is complete. It will ask you to restart. Dismiss for now will restart after applying the other changes. Next, let's disable the Hyper-V. Again, click on the Windows search and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. In the command prompt window, copy the command to disable Hyper-V from the video's descriptions and paste it here. You should see operation completed successfully. Close the command prompt window to check if virtualization is enabled on your PC, right click on the taskbar and select task manager. Go to the performance tab, then CPU, and you should see it here. Mine says enabled. And now let's go ahead and restart your PC to apply the changes. Once restarted, now we need to download the macOS ISO image file. Open a browser and let's search for macOS ISO download. Click on this link from the result, which should be the Internet Archive website. Once on this page, expand the ISO image file menu and you'll see different versions. I'll select High Sierra 10.13.6.iso. Click on the download arrow to start downloading the file. It's about 6 GB, so just be patient. Next, we need to download and install VirtualBox. So let's open a new tab and search for VirtualBox download. Click on this link in the results. You'll find the direct link in the descriptions as well. Click on download from the top. Once on this page, we're not going to install the latest version due to compatibility issues. Therefore, we need to download an older version that is known to work. Scroll down and under previous releases, click on VirtualBox older builds. Then click on VirtualBox version 7.0. Then click the link labeled Windows Host and it should start downloading. Now, if you can't find this version, on this page, I've included it in the descriptions. Once the download is complete, open the download folder and let's double click on the file. Click yes when prompted and you'll see the setup window. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. And now you should see the VirtualBox dashboard. Click on new and let's type a name for the operating system. I'll call mine Mac OS. Here you can change the installation folder location if you like. Click on the ISO image drop down and select other. And browse to the Mac OS ISO you just downloaded. Select it and click on open. For the type, keep it as Mac OS X and for the version, keep it as Mac OS X64 bit. Then click on next. For the hardware section, you need to assign RAM and CPU to the new virtual machine. Now, it's recommended to have at least 4GB of RAM. Assign half of what you have. If you have 32GB, assign 16. If you have 16, assign 8. And if you have 8, assign 4. Now, to find out how much RAM you have, right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Click on Performance, then Memory, You'll see your total RAM here at the top right. For example, I have 32 GB, so I'll be assigning 16 GB. For the processor, 
Let's start with one because sometimes if you select more than one, it gets stuck in the installation. Once you install it, you can come back here and increase it to either two or four. Click on next. Now create a virtual hard disk and assign disk space to the virtual machine. It's recommended to have at least 80 gigabyte. You can assign more if you like. Click next, then finish. And now you should see the Mac OS listed on the left. Now before running and installing it, we need to make some changes. Right click on it and select settings. Then select system from the left menu. Make sure that enable IO APIC, hardware clock, and enable EFI are all checked. Next, let's click on display and set the video memory to the maximum value of 128 megabyte. And check the enable 3D acceleration option. Then click on network. Under adapter one, it should already be set to NAT. For additional backup, enable adapter two. Choose bridged adapter from the dropdown and select your wireless adapter. And finally, click OK to close the settings. Now we need to patch the virtual machine before proceeding with the installation. Just remember your virtual machine name here. Mine is called Mac OS. You'll need it in the next step. Close the virtual box completely and make sure it's not running in the background. Open the command prompt as an administrator again by typing CMD from the search box. Right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. In the command prompt, we need to run few commands. You'll find the commands in a file shared in the descriptions. The command file has two sets of command, one for Intel and the other one for AMD processor. Choose the appropriate set for your system processor. Now before running the command, we need to replace the placeholder VM name with your actual virtual machine's name. Open the commands file in notepad, select VM name, then from the top menu, select edit and then replace. Type your machine names here. For me, it's Mac OS and click on replace all. Once everything is replaced, copy the command and paste them into the command prompt and just wait for the command to execute. Once done, close the command prompt window and let's open the virtual box. Select Mac OS and click on the start arrow icon. The process will begin and it may take some time, so just be patient. Now, if you encounter any errors or the installation gets stuck, close the installation screen, select power off machine and restart your PC and try again. That should resolve a lot of issues. Once you reach the language selection screen, choose your language and click on next. Before clicking install Mac OS, do the following. Click on the disk utility and then click on continue. From the left hand menu, select VBox Hard Disk Media. Click Erase to format it and give your hard disk a name and then click on Erase again. When done, click Done and close the disk utility box. And now click on Install Mac OS and then Continue. Click Continue again, then Agree and agree one more time. Select the virtual Mac disk you created and click on continue. And now the installation will start. This process will take time, so just be patient. Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to select your country or region. Choose your country, and click on continue and just follow the on-screen instructions to finish up setup. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and finally, you're logged in into the Mac OS desktop. You can now enjoy various applications, explore the Apple Store, and experience the Mac OS interface. Now to switch to a full screen mode, close the virtual machine by selecting Power Off Machine and click on OK. Open the command prompt as an administrator. Copy this command from the descriptions and paste it into the command prompt. This will take you to the VirtualBox location. Next, we need to run this command to set the Mac OS resolution. Before executing it, replace the machine name with your virtual machine's name, which we've already done before with the replace all function. The only thing you might need to change is the resolution. Now I'm going to set mine to 1920 by 1080, which is matching my monitor resolution. To check your monitor resolution, right click on your desktop and select display settings. Scroll down and you should see it here under display resolution. Here under choose resolution, you can pick any of these resolutions and replace it in the command above. Once you change the command, copy it and paste it into the command prompt window. Once done, close the window and let's start the virtual machine. And just log in with your username and password. You should now see the resolution has changed to 1920 by 1080. And now to switch to a full screen mode, click on view at the top left corner of the virtual box window, select full screen mode from the drop down menu, and now your Mac OS virtual machine will run in full screen mode for better experience. All right, that's all for this video. Let me know how it went in the comments below and please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.